How's it going, everybody? This is the Nitty Gritty. My name is Chad. With me is Leonard, and this is a show about wrestling. And this week we are going to be doing another round of stupid questions. And for those who have not checked out this segment before, basically one of us asks the other person a random wrestling question, and they have to answer off the top of their head. Um, there is no preparation. This time it is Leonard's turn to ask me a question. So Leonard, take it away. You know, sometimes in, in uh, other sports fans, they'll discuss things like how cool would it be to say catch a pass off of Tom Brady or to try to hit a pitch off of Nolan Ryan. So my question to you is, what wrestling move would you want to take and from what wrestler? Wow. To say that I took a whatever. For example, I'll give you uh, our good friend of the show, Dan Weber, has a picture of himself taking the cross face chicken wing from Bob Backlund. Wow, that's amazing. Um, mm -hmm. how did that feel? Do you know? <laughs> uh, I, I don't remember what he, what he said. It was at a show in New Jersey where Backlund was signing. And of course, Dan and, and me, we go with our buddy Ron. We're behind the scenes a lot. And I guess Dan was kind of, it, I think it was after the show and he was talking with Bob and just say, Hey, Hey, would you do this? And he said, sure. And they got the picture. Well, I'm going to do something different than Dan. I don't know mm -hmm. that I would choose a submission because and i'll tell you why because i'm sure backland was professional and you know a very nice guy and everything i've heard about him is that he's a nice guy however there are probably some guys out there that if you ask them to put a submission on you they are going to do it and they're going to do it for real like i've heard so many horror stories about people trying out for wrestling for the first time and you know whatever so i would personally wouldn't choose a submission um, the first one that came to the top of my head when you said this was the F5. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I think it would be great. I don't know why to take an F5. Um, you know, it might hurt, but uh, I think it would be fun uh, to take an F5 for sure. And, you know, as popular as it is right now, like you see more and more, no matter what the promotion, uh, you know, chops are becoming, you know, a thing of their own. Mm -hmm. And I suppose I'd want to take I'd want to take chops from somebody. I don't know that there's probably a short list of people that I could select for that. But what about Ric Flair? If Even this, still if, today. If this, well, today, yeah, maybe. I, yeah, sure. Why not? If this yeah. was 20 years ago, absolutely. I would have, you know, like yeah. that, he'd be one of the best. What is his name? Oh, Dax from uh, Dax Harwood. Yeah, from FTR. Yeah. He, he gives some hellish chops um mm -hmm. and uh there's a few guys from japan that do as well and like they obviously really lay them in um yeah. but yeah so those are the two that come to the top of my head there's a lot of moves i think that you know it would be interesting to see like for instance like when i say submissions like i'm not going to tell kurt angle to put me in an ankle lock like I'm just not going to do that. And I'm not going to tell Brock Lesnar to give me an arm bar or Ronda Rousey, like, because I don't trust either of them to not like hurt me permanently. <laughs> See, that's why, because I, I thought, you know, with a submission hold, it only hurts if they apply pressure. Correct. But would you trust them not to apply pressure? Because I was thinking even still to this day, it would be cool to take a figure four from Ric Flair or a sharpshooter from Bret Hart. Sharpshooter, maybe like the the figure four. I don't know if anybody ever just as a joke or wrestling with friends, whatever, has put on a figure four. That hurts. Okay. I'm not I have not had one. So but you mentioned chops. Dan Weber got to chop the barbarian once. I don't know. I remember if I you told me this story. That, yeah. That, and his hand was story. like shaking, right? Yeah, yeah. He see, yeah. If we, we were driving home like an hour later and he and he still had like a tremble. <laughs> in his hand he said he, he said it was like it was like chopping a tree with your hand that's the thing like you know that's one of those things obviously like you know hitting the ropes you develop calluses you get used to it but mm -hmm. like what a weird thing that your body has to get used to chopping another human being as hard yeah. as you, can. Uh, you know like that's just something obviously dan doesn't do regularly right right and and again even at his age barbarian is still you know built like a barrel i mean he's still right. barrel chested and, and and very strong two i thought of was one would be 
uh, because it's so trendy, people do it to to other people. Is an RKO from Randy Orton, ah, that's or a good even one. or even a diamond cutter from Dallas Page would both be cool. Both both and, those would be cool. And then I was thinking I would want someone you mentioned, you know, a submission hold. You can't trust someone. I would want someone who's a really safe worker, so someone who would do something very safely. And even today, I would uh, a tombstone pile driver from the Undertaker. Sure. That yeah yeah that's that's a good one. Although you know what, if it was the Undertaker, I think I'd have to choose the last ride. Last ride, that Tombstone. Yeah, yeah, that would probably hurt because Tombstone is more iconic, and he takes that on his knees. You know, you're 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 not feeling anything off of that. And, and if we go all time, uh, um, like uh, the Yokozuna, the uh, the bomb, the bonsai drop. Oh no way! No way! No. I, well, I've heard. Jim, I know what you're going to say. I'm yes, going. yes. I've heard from Jim Cornette talks about it and other people have talked about it. It was like having two feather pillows land on top of you. And yes, yeah. I've heard that as well. I. It's not that I don't trust Yokozuna. I don't trust myself not to freak out and move or like right. you know, wrench my head up to the point where he like crushes me. <laughs> yeah, that would be another thing is like you yourself – Taking because another one I thought of would be cool, but I wouldn't trust me taking it would be a DDT from Jake Roberts. So, yeah, I mean, he's talked about that, how, you know, he'll he told people how to take it and m take it safely. But there mm -hmm. were people that didn't. <laughs> yeah. You know, and they would like get really injured. Like, who was it? Was it Steamboat? It, well, I, th I think that, yeah, when when that might have been the, the one they did on the concrete. Yeah. Yeah, that that may may have may have hurt him, uh, and I've uh, and I've heard if not with Jake, but I think it was some podcast where I remember telling a story where they got in the ring with someone and took a DDT, and they were so excited that they jumped a little, and they went because they jumped up, they kind of took it more on their head than they should have. Oh. So yeah, that would that was that. See, I would trust Jake to give it to me. I wouldn't trust myself to take it. Exactly. And so, okay, so a lot of people use the choke slam, right? Who comes to your yeah. mind? Who would you want to take a choke slam from? Well, Taker would come to mind. Kane would come to mind. Kane would come um, to mind. Big, big show. Big show. I tell you what, we talked about, you know, last ride, power bomb, choke slam. Mm -hmm. I don't want Sid Vicious doing anything to me. No. <laughs> I, I, would, I wouldn't trust Sid as a worker, as a worker or a person. Yeah, yeah, no, um, and like I've we've talked in the past about dangerous moves, like you know, Kevin Nash's jackknife power bomb just looks like it could kill you depending on how you land. <laughs> yeah, well, anything that we talked about in that segment, like a like a vertebraker or a brain buster, yeah. anything where you're coming down on the top of your head, the back of your neck, uh, anything like that, you would. Yeah, you would definitely that's the it. thing. So, like in terms of not trusting yourself, like the one move that immediately comes to mind when it comes to me not being able to trust myself to take it correctly is the styles clash. And yeah, because he has not probably his fault, but there have been numerous incidents where like he's given people that, that move directly on their neck, you know, because they don't put their head the right way, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and I could see myself absolutely screwing that up. Like, but you know, you don't want to be like, how'd you become a paraplegic? Uh, Styles clash. Right. Yes, yeah, I was goofing around with AJ Styles for something. And, you know. uh, all right. Well, let us know uh, what moves you would want to take. Uh, I'm sure we missed something key. Yeah, somebody in a, in a move that would go, yeah, that would be cool, and it's something that I could probably take, and they would be safe with, and all that. Like you would think, you know, what we haven't mentioned would we'll probably be crucified. We don't. We haven't mentioned uh, Hogan's leg drop or Stone Cold Stunner. You know, uh, rock, so rock bottom, people's elbow. Yeah. People's elbow is a good one because that's all show from him. That's true. The thing no. with the stunner is this: it's all about your reaction or selling, rather. Of How you sell it. You know. There's some people that do it really, really well, and then there's other people that just are whatever. You don't remember it. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of all up to you rather than him doing the move to you, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, let us know what your choices would be. Uh, check out our other video segment, Surgery, uh, Random Match Reviews, What's That Card, our full-length episodes. We're available wherever you listen to podcasts. 
Uh, hit the like button on our YouTube video. Subscribe to our content. Uh, give us a five-star review on Apple if you think we've earned it. And uh, for Leonard, my name is Chad, and we will see you next time.